The Very Hungry Caterpillar Potato Painting. First, you will need a plain sheet of paper. I've used A3 because my potatoes are quite large. I have a picture of the hungry caterpillar here so I can make sure I use the right colours. I have put some clean water in a glass so I can clean my paintbrushes, have a palette to mix my paints on, some paintbrushes and lots of paint. I have decided to use three potatoes, one big one, one medium sized one and one small one and I've cut them in half. I have made three sections of green paint on my palette. I'm going to make three different shades. I have added a little bit of white paint to the green. What do you think is going to happen when we mix them together? Let's see if you're right. Yes, it's gone lighter. Well done. I left the second section its normal colour. For the third one, I added a little bit of black. And when I've mixed it together, it's gone darker. First, I'm going to make the body and make sure I leave enough room to add his head on later. I'm going to use one of my biggest potatoes and cover it in medium green paint. I then push my potato firmly onto my paper. I then painted my second big potato dark green. You can do it whichever order you want to. When you print your second potato, make sure it slightly overlaps your first one. I wanted to do another large print, so I cleaned off one of my large potatoes and put light green paint on it. But you can use whichever size you want, as long as you get smaller each time. Now it's time to make his head. Let's look back at the picture and check we have the right colours. First, you need to give one of your big potatoes a really good clean. Then, cover it in red paint. Now, go back to the start and add his head. Now, to make some eyes. I have decided to use a cork, but you could use your thumbprint or anything small you could find around your home. Put a little bit of green paint on your little finger and make his nose. To make his antennae, I mixed a bit of red and yellow paint together. I also went round his eyes. Finally, it's time to make his feet. Using my pointy finger and some dark green paint, I made little dots going all the way down his body. And there we have it, one very hungry caterpillar. I hope you have fun making yours.